Hello Viri users, Alexi, your guide, and today I'm answering a question of one of our students asking how to create the school 360 image and how to view it, how to upload it. So let's dive into this process and let me show you how to do it the right way. So first thing first, we need to go to our 3ds Max and position our camera and the target on the same level. That means we're going to look straight at our camera and our target going to be on the same level. After that, we need to go to our rendering settings, set up the rendering size to be 6000 by 3000. That's the only way to work. And we need to scroll down here to the camera, choose spherical and click override FOV and put 360 degrees. That's way we're gonna render fisheye. All right, and I'm also going to add some passes so I'll be able to improve my rendering a little bit better. When you're all down, just click render and wait to the render to appear. All right, so the render was done. As you can see here, we've got our fisheye and everything is looking straight, linear. I'm going to open it in Photoshop and do some color correction to it and assemble some passes. We do learn this method in our Viri portfolio workshop and we have a couple of other workshops. Viri interior also show how to assemble passes and how to do color correction in order to get better results. So you can see here I've added some light streaks, some lens flare and add some color correction. Now we can go ahead and save our image. I'm gonna give it a name 360, click save. And now let's go to our image here. Click right, click on the image, properties, details, scroll down, and in the camera maker, we're gonna put Ryko. Camera model, Ryko, Theta S. Click apply. OK. And that's our 360 image. Now we can use uh, Facebook basic upload. I'm going to put here 360 tutorial test. Post. And voila, our image was posted and it's looking good. I still need to figure out what to do with this uh, backstage here. Probably gonna add some frames and bake textures, which I'm gonna do next week. I'm gonna show you how to bake textures and to get those nice uh, realistic lights into your scene with Unreal Engine. Okay, now uh, here's a cool tool if you want to upload it and if you want to view it or send it to a client, you can use that Marzipano tool. So let's click start, select file, upload. It's loading the file so it's going to map it. So this one works a little bit better because I think it's getting less exaggerated angles give it a second to finish up the upload all right so the process was complete so here we can click export and click ok and here we go our file been downloaded let's go show it in folder i'm gonna bring it to my 360 folder paste it here extract and here we've got app files with the JavaScript and we got index HTML. So we can take the whole thing, put it on your server or add it to your website or just send it to your client. And by double click, you'll be able to open HTML browser and view your scene in the browser. Okay. So this is how you make it viewable for other clients and keep it offline or online as you wish. So that's about it. 
there's another tool that you can use in order to view this. It's called GoPro VR and you can just drag and drop files into this free software. So you can see this will maybe a little bit better because it's really not exaggerating that much. But it looks good. So I would actually use this one to view and show it to the clients on my computer. And if I need to do something else, like uploading it to the website, I would use the Marzipano tool. Okay, so that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please share it with your friends. And if you have any other questions, you are more than welcome to post them below the Q&A section in our Unreal Engine workshop. Thanks for watching. This is Alex, your VR guide. Ciao.